Elmer and the Rainbow As you know, rainbows have seven colors, right? But today we have another story. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Elmer the patchwork elephant was in a cave. Oh, can you see the cave, guys? Sheltering oh, from a storm. Oh, storm with lightnings and rains. And with him, there were other elephants and birds. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elephants were there with Elmer. And how many birds were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight birds too. Wow, there were a lot of them. And the elephant Elmer, Elmer the elephant that we have it there, said, Thunder and lightning is exciting. And you know what? After the storm, we might see a rainbow. So, when the storm had stopped, Elmer and the birds went outside. Elmer felt drops on his head. Cling, clang. Clan. Oh, he said, it's still raining. It's still raining. Perhaps it's the rainbow crying. The rainbow crying, said a little bird. It's come out too soon. I lo lost its colors. Look, no way, guys. Do you really believe that? Guys, look, the bird was true. shape a rainbow without colors said Elmer that's awful we must do something I'll give it my colors to do that you'll have to find where it touches the crown said a bear where the end where the rainbow ends and nobody knows where that is and Elmer said, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and start searching. You go that way and I'll go this, okay? So, do you start it? Their new way to find the end of the rainbow. What are you looking for? Said Elmer, sorry, said the lion. Oh, I'm looking the end of the rainbow, said Elmer. Have you seen it? And the lion said, which end, Elmer? And Elmer said, either end, the rainbow's lost its colors. And I can give it mine if we can find the end. And the lion said, uh, a rainbow without colors? Oh no, that is serious, said the tiger. Come on, lion, we'd better search. You two rabbits, come on, you can see the rabbits there? We'll roar when we find it, said the lion. So all together went to find the end of the, of the, end of the rainbow. A little later, Elmer met Giraffe. Elmer, she said. There's something strange in the sky. And Elmer said, I know, Giraffe. It's the rainbow. It has lost all its colors. And the Giraffe said, Oh no, that's a terrible, that's a terrible, terrible thing. And Elmer said, No, if we can find the end of the rainbow. Mm, can you see where it touches the ground? Can you see where it finishes? And the giraffe said, No, I, I cannot see it. Oh, but Elmer, 
What will happen to you if you give it your colors? She asked. But Elmer was already on his way to get on the elephant. The elephants were still in the cave. We are not coming out with that thing in the sky, they said. But when Elmer explained them the problem, the elephants were keen to help. What about Elmer if he gives his colors away? asked an elephant. I suppose he'll be like us, said his friend. Better than a colorless rainbow. <gasps> Elmer was with the monkeys. Can you see them? When the birds returned, all the birds came back. No luck so far. Oh no, they said. We'll keep looking, okay? Oh, Elmer was a little bit sad. Nobody can find the end of the rainbow. What will we do? So, they kept going and going and going. By the time Elmer arrived at the river, everyone was looking for the rainbow. All of them were working together to find the rainbow. Hello, fish, he called. Can you see the fish there? I don't suppose you know where the rainbow starts, do you? And the, the fish told him. Yes, usually they start at the waterfall. But today there's some pale thing there. And Elmer said, Yes, that's the rainbow! Come on everyone, come on! Come on, we have we have the rainbow there! Come on, let's go, let's go! So all of them together they went running and running, very excited to see the rainbow. And yes, they arrived at there. <gasps> sure enough, a colorless rainbow was coming from the waterfall. The search was over. Elmer the fish and the crocodiles called loudly to the other animals. Hey guys, come here, come here, we have found it. And then, without waiting, Elmer went behind the waterfall. Oh guys, you won't imagine what was there. Do you want to see it? Yes. By the time the other animals arrived, Elmer was out of sight. He was surprised. Colors gradually began to appear in the rainbow. Hooray! cheered the animals. But, oh no, what about Elmer? whispered an elephant. As if in answer, answer, sorry, Elmer appeared from behind the waterfall. He still has his colors. The animal cheer again. Hooray! But Elmer, said an elephant, you gave your colors to the rainbow. Hmm? How can you still have them? And Elmer chuckled. Some things you can give and give and not lose any. Things like happiness. Oh, I love all my colors. Oh, that's a very good thing. So, everyone happy? Later on the way home. Tiger said, I wonder if the rainbow would be patchwork. Hmm? Don't even think about it, said the lion. We have enough trouble with the patchwork elephant. And this time, Elmer laughed out loud. <gasps> wow, look guys, this is a beautiful rainbow full of colors, a patchwork rainbow. And this has been the story. Have you like it? Yes? Hope so. I think that it's a very beautiful story. Now we have a very beautiful craft to do related to the story, okay? If you want it, keep with me and follow the next activity. Bye-bye!